All right then, so have I got a quick one for you. If you are looking for adding reverb inside your game in certain areas like bathrooms and whatever, uh, so it sounds a bit more like this, let's get into this video and find out how you do that. It's pretty easy, you'll be surprised. All right, so I have a bathroom scene right here inside of my game. Uh, which, by the way, is called 3AM and is available on Steam right now to wishlist. If you're watching this in the future, then it may be even available to purchase. Why not give it a go? So this is uh, the my game. So I'm going to bring in a, um, a reverb effect for the bathroom. I actually have two bathrooms. I have one underneath this one as well. So I want them in both. So let's find out how to do that. So up here in place actors, you want to search for audio volume. I'm going to drag that out into our scene. And I want this to cover two rooms. So I'm going to put it in the middle because conveniently my bathrooms are on top of each other, which is probably how they would be in a real building anyway, just because of the, the way the plumbing is set up. So I'm going to stretch this up to, you know, it doesn't have to go right to the top, but there and it should be touching the floor down here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I like that. So let's get up here, make it the size of the room that you want to cover. I'm just going to move it over a little bit. Oop, like that. And I'm going to stretch it out this way as well. I can't see where the edges are. That could be an issue. Right, hang on. Let's go this way. So I can see there. Oh. All right, so I can see. Where is it going to be around? Oh, I need to select it in my outliner. Where is it? There. Uh, I'm just going to stretch it. So it covers the room like that. That will do for our purposes. Right. So this by itself does nothing. So in our content browser, whatever you want to put it, right click, go to sounds and go to effects and go to reverb effect. And we will rename this. And call this bathroom. I think that's about right. Yep. So that's the bathroom. We want to, with our uh, audio volume selected, we want to put our bathroom reverb effect in the box right there. Make sure apply reverb is checked. It should be by default anyway. You can adjust the volume. So I'm going to put that to one. The fade time is to do with when you walk in or out of the box. So how quickly the, the echo or re reverb, whatever will fade in as you walk in or fade out when you walk out. So I'll just leave that at two for now. If we open up the reverb effect, you can play with the adjusters right here. So I'm just going to pop this up just so that we can really hear it. It may be too much, but as long as we can hear it, that'll be fine. All right. So with that done, let's press play. Now, if you are using um, Unreal 4.23, I think, and above, which you probably would be and should be, um, you probably won't hear any difference. What you need to do, it, what happens is it will work in your build, but it will not work in the editor. So to get it to hear the reverb in the editor, when you press play in editor, we need to press the tilde key and type in au.is. And you see that it says is audio uh, is using audio mixer. Press tab on that and hit enter, and it should work fine. So what I what I'll do now is I'll walk up to this light switch, and you'll hear the sound. I'm getting an echo. So I may have made this box a bit too big. Let's see, where's the boundary? What is the boundary? Oh, it's inside. Let's make it a little smaller. Like that. Let's press play again. Nothing ever goes right when you want to demonstrate something. There you go. Nice flat sound. Nothing. No re reverb there. I'm going to come into the bathroom. here there the reverb is there now this will apply to any sound that is in this room including these doors 
hear the echo on that. Uh, what I've also done is set up a, a, a voice. So I'm going to set the voice off now, which is my character speaking. It's my voice, so don't get confused. My character, Alex, will be speaking now, doing his vlog intro to the game. And what I'll do is I'll stay out here and then I'll walk in there and walk back out so you'll be able to see the difference in his voice. This audio is playing from the character's blueprint itself um, as a um, play sound attached node. So you hear the voice. What's up everyone? Welcome to my live stream. Tonight I am doing what you guys have requested for months and months now. I am at the Vakuma office building, well-known building, where I think 15 people were found hung in this building back in the late 90s. No one really knows what happened to them or why they did it, but I'm gonna do a 3 a.m. challenge right here on my own. Well, I'm hoping you guys will stick around and keep me company. It is three right now, so I'm gonna get inside. I have a head mount on my camera, so I'm gonna slip that onto my noggin right now. Look at that, the door's open. That's good. And there you go. There you go. It is all done and working perfectly. So that's how you do it. And you can, like I said, you can play with the adjusters here, the different sliders to get the kind of right kind of sound or acoustics for the room you're using it for and that is basically it so all set up working well all audio that plays inside this room now will have echo or reverb and all audio outside doesn't and like i said it even works dynamically on my character as he is playing audio and he walks in and out of the room it will change on the fly dynamically so that is it video done if you want to say thank you you can always hit that sub button like button share button comment whatever and um, don't forget to go over to Steam and have a look at my little game called 3AM. Anyway, that's me out. I'll see you again. Cha-cha. Cha-cha.